We're going to begin this hour with an historic weekend in music. You never know who's going to show up at the iconic Newport Folk Festival. This year, it was two of the greatest singer-songwriters of their generation. The first surprise, well, that came on Saturday. People writing songs that voices never share. Look at that crowd mesmerized. That, of course, is a great Paul Simon Grace of Festival stage for the first time ever, joining Nathaniel Rateliff in the Night Sweats. And last night, a real legend also returned to the Newport Folk Festival stage for the first time in 53 years. That, of course, is the great Joni Mitchell. Anthony Mason was there. Anthony, good morning. Of course you were there. You go every single year. But boy, this was a big <laughs> deal. Yeah, this was amazing. Uh, you know, the closing set at the Newport Folk Festival, Gale, was billed as Brandy Carlisle and Friends. But Brandy had a very big surprise. And what happened next was one of the most emotional concerts I have ever experienced. And please welcome back to the Newport When the surprise guest walked gingerly onto the stage at the Newport Folk Festival, the crowd erupted. <laughs> then, supported by an all-star cast of musicians, 78-year-old Joni Mitchell gave her first public performance since a brain aneurysm nearly killed her in 2015. Oh, darling, and I would still be on my feet. The stage was set up like Joni's California living room, where the recovering singer has been hosting Joni Jams with fellow musicians for the past few years. And she just wants to sit there and drink her wine and listen, right? But it didn't turn out like that. She started singing, and then she started playing. And Brandy Carlisle had the idea of bringing the Joni Jam to Newport. You've been thinking about this for quite a while. I dreamed it. The first time she opened her mouth and sang Summertime, and I saw Herbie Hancock burst into tears, and everybody in the room catch their breath because she had decided to sing, really decided to sing, you know? Mm -hmm. um, I knew, I knew she'd do it at Newport. I, I can't really say how I knew it. I just pictured her out there. I pictured the water and the fort and the boats. So the years been now, the but until rehearsals Friday night here, no one was sure she would feel up to it, including Joni herself. <laughs> Are you at all nervous about singing in front of an audience again? No, I've never been nervous about being she in front care. of an audience. But I wanted to be good, you know, and I wasn't yeah. sure that I could be, but I didn't sound too bad tonight. No, <laughs> <you didn't. laughs> City light time, must you get ready? Joni was 23 when she first played Newport back in 1967. Yeah, I met Leonard Cohen in 67. I met James Taylor in 69. Yeah, you know, that's pretty good company. Good friends for my life. In her first trip back in 53 years, Joni played guitar, a skill the aneurysm took from her till only recently. You taught yourself to play again. I'm, I'm learning, I, I'm looking at videos that are on the net to, to see what, where I put my fingers, you know. And it's amazing, like, what a, an aneurysm knocks out, how to get out of a chair, you don't know how to get out of a yeah. bed, you don't know how. Yeah. You know, you have to learn all these things by rote again, you know. I was into water ballet as a kid, and mm -hmm. I, I forgot how to do the breaststroke. I, every time I tried it, I just about drowned, you yeah. know. So there's a lot of, you, you're going back to infancy almost. You have yeah. to relearn everything. How do you find the will to do that? I don't know, but the, the, the surgeon that did, did the brain surgery on me said, he said I had will and grit. Yeah. You show that every day. Do you, you show that every day. Do you think day. you have will and grit? Yeah, I think I do. <laughs> she yeah. definitely does. I've, I've recovered from a lot of things, you know. You sure have. Polio. At age nine, Polio left her paralyzed. Joni willed herself 
to walk again. Your friends call you a miracle. <laughs> you are. I love you, Joni, you magical thing. Joni's career has been widely celebrated this past year. She was a Kennedy Center honoree and Music Cares Person of the Year at the Grammys. More, How did that more, feel? More. Oh, very rewarding. You know, a lot of doors were shut to me, like the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, they kept me out of that for a long time. So you're feeling the love? I'm feeling the love, yeah. Feels good. It feels good. It's a beautiful thing to it's see her honored thing. in this way. I think coming, having a brush with death like that kind of softens people towards me. <laughs> Don't it always seem to go? The musicians at Newport were as moved as the audience. Marcus Mumford handled drums during the set. How did it feel to play with Tony? It's a, it's a complete dream. And Brandy's a wonderful facilitator and leader. And obviously, she's basically the one person in the world who Joni feels comfortable so sitting next to to sing her songs again. And so I think it's, it's just really emotional. The crowd was joyful and tearful. Especially when Joni sang Both Sides Now. What were you hoping to do by bringing her here? Joni hasn't always felt the appreciation that exists amongst humanity for her. But I wanted her to feel that. By the end of the night, everyone was glowing, especially the artist herself. Mm. Wow. It was simply amazing. I can't recall ever being at a concert where both the women and the men were crying. At rehearsals on Friday night, Winona Judd was crying. So were most of the musicians. I was crying. Not just because of what Joni's music has meant to people, but because, or because of how far she's come, but because of how good she sounded. Yes. And everybody was joyful about that. I think the doctor was right when he said she had will and grit, but I love Anthony when she said, I think I sounded pretty good. There's no arrogance in that. <laughs> yes, She's no. just really speaking from the heart yeah. about how she felt. And going online to look up her yeah. own videos to see where she put her hands, that was such a wonderful conversation with all of them. And Brandi Carlisle in that gorgeous robe that she had on, really, really nice. Yeah. I got to say, when Joni got up to play guitar, and I'd seen it in rehearsals Friday night, I, I got chills. Partly, I mean, as yes. I said, because of how she good, how good she sounded, but because as she explained of all that she's been through, and literally it was only months ago that she really got to that point to play like that yeah. again. Both, both sides, sides now. now. Yeah. I know. I, I mean, it's just like, I don't know how there could be a dry eye in the house, Anthony, hearing Joni Mitchell perform both sides now uh, in that way. It was and really it's 78 remarkable. to feel the love yeah. and to know how much she's loved. That was really a beautiful, lovely, lovely weekend. Anthony, we appreciate you. Thank you so much. Extraordinary.